In this episode of Vaughn and Bibby, we continue to explore Okinawa. There's beaches, food, tunnels, and more. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll probably subscribe. It'll be an all-around surprise for all of us. had a lovely meal at the hostel some smoked salmon shit oh there we go it's good this is good and now we're now we're on our way to god knows what american village believe it or not we went to okinawa to go to an american village and then to a castle hopefully the weather is not cooperating and i feel like wrenching my guts out but what the hell a late night arrival at our hostel meant that we were late night drinking, which of course meant that we were now early morning suffering. It didn't matter, we had to find Okinawa, so we went searching. First stop, American Village. Ridiculous, I know. No adventure is complete in Asia without first making a pit stop to Family Mart for the necessary goodies. Jamel, I know this must be a health food product with its yogurt cup appeal. Can you explain to the audience what it tastes like? Well, good old family, my everybody. This is a golden cup of rice deliciousness. Sock it to me, baby. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing, folks. I don't know why we're here. We have made our way to, uh, well, just have a look. Our misguided walk around American Village started with the least American place ever. It was a relief. If I wanted to go to the US, I could have done that from Canada. What about you, Jared? Does it feel like home? It feels no. like it is. They have butt panels. <laughs> just, just like Mama used to make. <laughs> have hot dog breads. Yeah, that's gotta be good. <laughs> Hello Kitty potato peeler. Oh my god. In bright pink and pale pink. I don't know how much longer I can stand here and look at this. <laughs> I can't take it. I can't say it's the most American place I've ever been. Well, I don't think we've gone very far. So far we're in like a discount mall, like an outlet mall kind of idea, I think. I don't know. I have no idea. But I say we keep exploring. It's yeah. dry in here. American Village. So we eventually found ourselves in this sushi bar. It's the kind of place you dream about. No human interaction between client and clerk, just a non-stop conveyor belt delivering food. No menu either. If it looks good when it passes by your table, you grab it, you eat it. You can imagine the kind of financial hole you could dig yourself into here without a little discretion. That has some undertones for sure. Mention the fact that you're going to Okinawa to anybody and you'll inevitably hear blue seal this and blue seal that. So we got the ice cream. Um, I think it's like their go-to, what is it called? Okinawa salt cookie. Yeah? It's good, yeah. Not as good as Corth Dairy still, but still delicious. Well, it was about to turn on the camera and explain to you guys what our plan is. Um, about how we're gonna go to a castle and we have to cross island blah 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 but then we got stopped because somebody wanted to pray for our happiness which is interesting we had to stand with our eyes closed for a while and just be quiet but you know it can't go wrong with someone praying for your happiness so now we're trying to get a cab we all jumped into taxis which brought us to nakagasuku castle it was a little chilly but the rain was giving us a break I was trying to make friends with my soggy feet, but before long we were delivered to the entrance of the castle. Our golf cart driver sang along with the Beatles as they played Hey Jude on the little speaker by the ticket window. 
there was a noticeable improvement in air quality that the dense city of Taipei helped me appreciate. The cool rain from earlier had washed away all the delicate tourist and gave way to glistening foliage in rapturous solitude. The rising temperature and the deepened wet earth colors over the expansive hills around me were frustratingly impossible to capture on film. My brain was torn between ancient times and modern technology as I contemplated camera settings and drone shots between the confounding construction of the castle walls. And we get to walk in it, that's the cool part. It's not like one of those ruins where you have to stand from afar behind the roped off fence. Yeah, and it's not crowded at all. We're the only people here, it feels like. I think we literally are the only people here. Yeah, I think we might be. What is it called again? Na Nakagashuki? No. <laughs> sure. think like oh we should get a picture of this but then I remember we're making like a whole video about it <laughs> so this is pretty this is so yeah, cool yeah. are you guys being careful about the hubs I don't want to get married yet I'm I'm staying I'm staying careful against the hubbies <laughs> what no, about you Aaron? no one wants a hub are you treating the hubs with respect no I'm okay with it I'm <laughs> I don't know what I'm walking into and there's no one around to ask about it, but it looks pretty damn cool. It's a well, I'm assuming. It, it said well up above. Yeah. There you have it. Oh, there's money. Guys, are you, you guys need money? What's uh, our plan? Uh, we're gonna change out of our <laughs> wet clothes and go back to their hostel, enjoy happy hour. And eat that whatever, what's it called? Yakit Yakitori. 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 We managed to hail two cabs and under Eugene's direction, they got us back to the Ion hostel in time for happy hour. It's happy hour. What is happy hour for this place? Like, what is that? Gin and tonic on the menu and it's Hendrick's gin. What is it? The nightly festivities were beginning to unfold at the hostel and the girls and guys of our group took turns making trips to the nearby store for important supplies. Cigarette vending machine. The spirits increased proportionally with the volume. There was, once again, no mention of to-do lists, of tomorrow, of yesterday, or of anything outside the immediate desires and topics. <laughs> we went for a late night dinner at a nearby yakitori restaurant. The food was delectable as you'd expect, but the company we kept left much to be desired. Aside from making iconic pocket knives, Switzerland also made two repulsive ogres that conveniently befriended us in time for dinner. That relationship expired around the same time Jermel said, check please. It was not a group effort. It was, it was all about me. <laughs> it does say sorry on it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Good morning. This is our last morning in the hostel before we leave Okinawa and head back to Taiwan. So we're going to enjoy some breakfast here. I'll go find Alex. The breakfasts at Ion Hostel alone are worth the visit. It's not raining. That's true. Drink is so it feels like, okay. Wait, wait. At 300, so if you Try a little bit of that. Yeah, try some. <laughs> I got those. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I always feel sad when we leave hostels. 
Yeah, they were super nice too. And it was like great food, great drinks, like an awesome place to hang out in the rain. So yeah. that was a plus. Feeling optimistic about the sunshine, we gathered our backpacks and walked down to Sunset Beach, where we could relax, have lunch, and catch the bus back to Naha. Well, we made it to the beach finally. Yeah, now it's less sunny out, unfortunately, but we can still hang out here and hope the clouds leave. It's probably going to rain. <laughs> probably. <laughs> It's small, like you wouldn't think it would accommodate a lot of people, really. No. Smaller than I thought for the hype. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. You say it is more really good. You're in? You don't yeah. <laughs> it doesn't get very deep. I just dunked. I didn't want to get my hair wet because then it's salty all day. Fair enough. And then I saw fish and I was scared. Meow! Jared, on a scale of 1 to 11 and a half, how much do you like Okinawa so far? So far, I, I saw a 10. It's all a tent? Yeah, all right. I don't think it has like great like transportation. It's kind of expensive it's taxi. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I I'm like with it. that. I like the like, I, it's like cool family mart. I like the beach, American oh Village is cool. I like the castle. But there's something missing. Yeah. Right? I think it's because we stayed here in this area. Next time I'm totally going to fly to an island, not fly yeah. here. Because you can fly to like Ishigashi or something. I think it's our, yeah, it's our fault that it wasn't. No, I think it's the time. We, c we couldn't have explored much in a weekend, more than well, what we did. Well, that's what I mean, it's our fault, because we're only here for a weekend. We came when it was raining, and we went to one spot in the all of Okinawa, right? Yeah. So I think if we gave it a better chance, it would be awesome. But right now, it just feels like we could have had this good of a time in Taipei. Right. Right? Besides the castle. Besides, the, the castle, castle was super, super cool. cool. I feel yeah. like the war stuff today will be cool. The beach was cool. But there's I think a beach cool. in Taiwan. Yeah, exactly. That's... Yeah. I think uh, I would fly to an island. Yeah, that's fine. You do it like this. So what do you do for this? I wish I knew. I think you do money and then press your button to order your food. And then here's the menu. You just have to choose the number. What number are you getting? Five. Five is spicy ramen special. All right. <laughs> I think we're all looking forward to a little bus nap, America. aren't we? Yeah. Oh, for sure. We got some warm ramen in us. It's like a little humid out, so now you feel sleepy. negotiations I have with myself internally about going to sleep fell silent once I got on the bus. This is definitely the best way to get to the airport that I've ever heard of. And the cheapest from the hotel. That was a needed nap. Much needed. We have to go to the domestic departure side to catch a shuttle in order to bring us back to the international departure side. Depending for, on what airline yeah, you're on. Right. Yeah. Even though we were just in international, it just doesn't make sense. But we're not really here to catch a flight right now. We're here to say goodbye to Sarah and Jarek because they have an earlier flight. Hopefully we can find a, a locker and then we're going to go to the World War II tunnels. Bye guys. 
We found a locker at the airport, stuffed our bags into it, exchanged a little more cash from Taiwan dollars to Japanese yen, and made our way to the former Japanese Navy underground tunnels with monorails, walking, and taxi rides. If you're looking for stock footage of World War II and for me to share the morose history of what happened here, then you've come to the wrong place. I'm just not qualified to tell that story. There's a small museum that confronts you as you walk into the unassuming main building where the tickets are sold. Already, the atmosphere is thick with a somber stillness. The entrance to the tunnels were an incredibly deep staircase that grew more and more impressive with every step. The walls were sweating out the earth's moisture the way you would expect. Drops hitting the floor created a sound that echoed for miles. The rough texture of the hand-carved walls harshly reflected the shuffle and patter of our footsteps, and the place was alive and nearly deafening with its eerie silence. The pop of a single gunshot anywhere in this tunnel would make anyone fold over from pain. The damp air seemed to suck all the air from our voices. Nobody could pick up their chin long enough to say anything besides, holy shit. I touched a wall spattered with shrapnel, in a room that had seen pain so great that the only relief for these men was to commit suicide with a hand grenade. Nobody talked. Confronted with the uniquely human ability to be so cruel, I left that tunnel without the western pride I walked in with, at least for a little while. I was ashamed to see the Coca-Cola logo on the side of a vending machine and bench just outside the exit, but I was happy to overlook a peaceful Okinawa from the hill we were on. I don't even know how to describe that to you guys. Not yet. I will no. once I write narration, but right now <laughs> that was just like, that was unlike any museum or anything I've ever seen. Yeah, very disturbing. You just feel like uneasy the whole time, for sure. You can like feel the, the pain, you know? And now it's just full-blown, peaceful, modern society. That's what's crazy. A nice lady tried to call us a taxi and they were like, no, there's no taxis. Change over time. Yeah, change over time. So now we're just heading north because we know that the airport is north. If I could come back here again, the things I would do differently is first, I'd bring a lot more money. Two, I'd probably get a SIM card so I had some kind of data. It would be worth looking into getting an international driver's license before you come, and then you can rent a car for a weekend, and you can see a lot more in a weekend if you're trying to do it in a quick time period. Because it's just, there's not much transit otherwise. And you don't yeah. want to pay for taxis all weekend to go all around the island. Craving something less dour, we found a nearby restaurant that had outdoor seating. A stack of different menus were delivered to us, but after not much deliberation, we just ordered a pint and resolved to carry on towards the airport. On our way back, we stopped in at a sashimi place for dinner, and we were surprised that such a small door under such a small sign would open up to be a beautiful interior with incredible food. It was easy to forget about the airport altogether. Until Eugene reminded us of the last time he missed a flight and was stuck in Japan. So off we went in a hurry. More walking, purchased tickets, got on the monorail, walked through the airport, found our locker, grabbed our stuff, walked to the shuttle, got on the shuttle, made it to the gate, we were home free. Okinawa, tough to travel in, easy to love. The people, the food, the contrast between old and new, peace and violence, 
and the historical significance all together make it a destination worth exploring. It's a party in the back. All the cool kids sit in the back. But when you do, do a better job than we did. Stay for a while and bring money. That was so stupid. It's like a 10 second shuttle. We could have walked that the amount of time we waited yeah, to get on. It was like literally That's a so minute long. Stupid. <laughs> nice that they do that though. It is, it's smart. Look at Rico Suave over here. Okay. Oh, we made it.